Hi friends, welcome back to the studio. Jessica here with Maker's Memoir. And today is Sunday and I need to clean this messy office. And before I start my week, I always like to tidy up my to-do list, make sure there's no stragglers. So I start with a clean slate. So we're gonna get started straight into things today. And um, we do have a couple orders to pack. Maybe a package is coming in and we'll see how far we get. There are some new things that I want to start working on. So let's get to work. Before I clean the office, I want to make sure that I have the sweatshirt size in stock. They ordered this Pac-Man horror movie design and I'm looking for a size small. These are the Gildan 1800 sweatshirts and I do not have the size. So we need to place an order. I don't carry a lot of inventory when it comes to my apparel. I use Jiffy shirts because they have really quick shipping. Usually within a day or two I see my items and there's free shipping over $59. So I wanna head back over to my inventory shelf. I ordered the sweatshirts and they should be here by Tuesday, but I wanna check inventory on my DTFs. Um, these are the DTFs for Halloween. It is nearing the end of October. And basically by this Friday, if those orders aren't in, it's most likely I'm not gonna be able to get their orders out on time. So they have them by Halloween. So when I originally put the Halloween or really any season apparel, I always start well in advance with like a pre-order and then as I get closer, I build some inventory and then I kind of, you know, order as I need. But if I run out of these um, DTFs, it's going to be really hard for me to get them here on time because it's typically about a week turnover. Um, I could expedite them, but that's just going to cost a lot of money. So I want to make sure that I check the inventory and go on Etsy and update those. So I'm not putting myself in a position where I have to refund somebody their money or they're going to be disappointed that their sweatshirt didn't arrive in time or I have to spend a lot of money to get everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and count these and update the inventory now. Now that the inventory is updated, we're gonna move on to the next task. I have an order that needs to get out and I am out of my Halloween keychains. So I need to make a few more of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make my wristlets using faux leather and heat transfer vinyl. I already have the faux leather strips cut out that I created in Cricut Design Space and this is the material, the HTV vinyl, that we will be heat transferring to the faux leather as the backing to the wristlets. Even though I know how to sew and I really do enjoy sewing, this is just a really easy process 
um, especially if you don't have a sewing machine and you own a Cricut machine. You basically just take the faux leather piece and put the HD vinyl to the back and then we're going to press it here in a moment. But here are some other designs. I get my faux leather um, sheets off of Etsy. There's a lot of cute um, shops there that carry different designs. Here are some that I'm going to be testing and considering putting on my Etsy shop. All my pieces are cut out and they are ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and right now we're gonna be making the bride of Chucky wristlet so we're gonna go ahead and get everything put together so we can finish up this order Now I'm using my hardware and this tool to secure the wristlet together. I'll link it below in the description box. I get both of these from Amazon if you're interested. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the charm on. This order is ready to go. I'm gonna finish boxing it up and get this to UPS tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go check to see if the package is here. There's cookity, and yes, it is. Okay, so I realized after I got the boxes in and opened a few things that my phone was no longer recording because the storage was full. So that was fun to figure out how to clear that off of my Android phone. But anyways, um, I only have two packages that are related to the business. So the first one I'm opening are these poly mailers. I needed this to come in because we do need to press a different sweatshirt order and get it out and I use these 10 by 13 poly mailers. I'll link those below too if you want to check them out. And I'm not sh quite sure what's in the other package so we're going to take a peek. Okay, so these are not what I thought they were gonna be. I thought I was ordering bamboo lids. Now I can use these for my Libby glasses, but I was hoping that they were just regular lids that I could use for my candles. Next up, we are pressing a medium size Pac-Man sweatshirt. And while we do that, I figured I would talk a little bit about my heat press. So I do love my heat press. There's nothing really wrong with it. It works great. Um, but I did not do a lot of research before I purchased one of these. So the one thing that if you are like in the market of buying a heat press to consider is they have the up and down like clamshell ones. And this one is a swivel. So it's really hard for me to work with the swivel in my office. So um, I'm definitely going to use this until I can't use it anymore, but I wish I would have gotten a clamshell one.
Now that I'm done with the high important to-do list thing, we must tend to this messy office before we start the week off. So right now we're gonna finish up this vlog by cleaning up, tidying up. As always, I thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And if you have any specific questions, put them in the comments below. I've been answering them. I try to elaborate a little bit more in my videos. So it was fun hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.